Hi guys and welcome back to another trip from the Royal Road to Card Magic. It's called Thought Stealer and it's on page 23 if you want to follow along in your book. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so we're using these beautiful aristocrat cards today. Okay, I have discovered that you can conduct mental experiments, telepathic experiments with playing cards. I'll show you what I mean. So I want you to think of a card in the deck, any card, or actually just in the interest of time. Let's make, uh, let's uh, choose a couple from the middle here. So, no, maybe one more doesn't really matter. Okay, so I want you to think of one of these cards and think think of it in your mind and concentrate on it. Okay, I hope you have one down. So let's return them to the pack. Okay, so I can feel you concentrating on your card. And I'm pretty sure which one it is. And I'm going to place it in the ideal place in the deck for it. Okay, it's done. So your card is now on the only place in the deck which corresponds with the number of letters in its name. So for example, if it's the Ace of Diamonds, we're going to spell out a deal for every, for every card. We're going to spell out so it's A C E O F D I A M O N D S. If it's the Ace of Diamonds, so think of your cards. We're going to spell it, and don't forget the off. Okay, let's go. So how did I do? Did I get it? If I did, leave a like. I just want to take a quick break to remind you all that we're going through this book right now on the channel, The Royal Road to Card Magic, one of the best books for beginners. We'll be going through different shuffles like the overhand shuffle and the riffle shuffle, and false shuffles and controls, as well as classic slides like the classic pass, Palms, a double turnover and double lift, but also quick and easy tricks that you can start using today. So make sure to subscribe for more content like this and give the video a like and please comment down below what you think. Okay, on to the tutorial. Okay, so let's go through what I did there. And as they say in the book, the explanation is a simple one. For each card after the first spells with one letter more than the preceding card. So we have a stock on top and it's the, uh, the, uh, these six cards. So the two of clubs, for example, is 10 words and the six of spades is 11 and the five of, of hearts is 12 words and so on and so forth. That's, that's the secret really. So let's go over the slides. So we have this stock. So it's the two of clubs, the six of spades, the five of hearts, the seven of uh, spades, the four of diamonds and the queen of diamonds. And we start off with these cards on top. Okay. And as we introduce the trick, we do we do that we do some sh false shuffling. So for example, we, we can we can start off with the uh, top control. So we shuffle off the top stock uh, in the first shuffling movement. We injog the next card and we shuffle off. And then 
we form a thumb break and we shuffle to the break. And then we can undercut about half of the cards. Uh, and we in jog the next and we shuffle off. And now the in jog here is, is an indicator of where the stock is. So as we do this, we just make up some patter. You can do whatever you, you want, something about reading minds, telepathy, whatever. Uh, and then we say something in the lines of, you can think of any cards, a card in the deck. And then you kind of stop yourself and say, okay, in the interest of time, let's, let's pick between these cards. Take some cards just randomly in the middle. So you cut to the stock. You cut at the in jog, so to speak, by lifting on the in jog. Uh, and then you turn some cards over. And you don't want them to, to realize, you don't want to make it obvious that it's exactly six cards. You can shuffle or you can deal four cards, for example, and then hesitate a little and one more. And then you say, yeah, it doesn't really matter. And you take one more, for example. So they get to pick between these, um, these six cards. And when they do that, you turn around so that they don't think that you're looking at their eyes to figure out which card it is. And uh, when they're finished, you gather the cards up and you make sure to gather them like this. So you, you can deal them in a diagonal row like this and then you sweep them up and make sure to keep, keep this uh, order of the cards. And you place them back on the deck. And now comes the, uh, yeah, the secret slide, so to speak, to make this uh, trick work. And we already know it. It's uh, we're gonna run nine cards, and for details on all these false shuffles and the uh, and running cards, go back and refer to the first video on this channel on the overhand shuffle. But I'm gonna go through it now quickly. So you undercut about half. And using your pad, the pad of your thumb, you're gonna run nine cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you in jog the next card, the 10th card, and then you shuffle off. And uh, then you can, you can shuffle to the break. And now if I had a spectator, I would let them uh, deal from now on. So now you explain that you have placed their cards uh, at the ideal position in the deck. Uh, the deck which corresponds to the number of letters in the name of the card. And you can give an example. For example, Ace of Diamonds is, yeah, and you say the, the, the letters and you make sure to, to remind them to include the off. So whichever card they shows, you, it's going to be on that place. So, uh, because now we have nine cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have our stock. So, uh, so whichever card they pick, it's going to be on the right, uh, it's going to be on the right place deck. So let's say they pick the two of clubs and you, you tell them to spell that, so it's an O, O, F, C, L, U, B, S. And, and here you, you kind of milk it a little bit and you, you kind of ask them, okay, for the first time, what, what was your card? And they say the two of clubs and, and you say, okay, I didn't even touch the cards. Now you can turn over that card you're holding. And it's the two of clubs. Okay, and this is a great trick to to follow up the last trick we did, telepathy plus, because it's it's kind of similar, but it's two completely different methods, you could say. So uh, so you can make it a little set of two two tricks. Okay, if you have any questions whatsoever about this trick, leave leave a comment and I'll answer them. And uh, once again, we're in early days of this channel. So for you who have subscribed, 
thank you so much. And if you want to see something in particular, comment and I will do a video about it because I, I make these videos for you guys. So whatever you want to see, I'm going to make a video about. But if nothing else, we're going to continue with the Royal Road to Card Magic. Okay, thank you very much. Please subscribe and leave a like. Uh, and if you have a friend who's into card magic, maybe you can ask him to, to see if he likes the channel, if he likes the content. Okay, see you back next time. Bye bye.